This episode of Life Hacker is brought to you by Carbonite. Welcome back to Life Hacker's summer series. Here's what we're talking about this week. Back to school time is upon us, and we're walking through how to hack your return to higher learning with our favorite education-related hacks. Beyond that, we're undertaking the simple task of surviving a zombie apocalypse, and while we're at it, we'll take a few DSLR pics wirelessly from our phones. So let's get started. Starting a new semester at school can be nerve-wracking whether you're in your first year or your third year. Here's some of our favorite life hacking tips that are going to make your life easier as a student. Number one, don't break the bank on textbooks. If there's one thing I did wrong in my first year of college, it was buying all of my books at the bookstore. You'll get much better prices buying used on Amazon or renting them from a textbook lending site like Chegg. Check out our high five on the best places to get cheap textbooks for more information. Your wallet will be glad you did. Two. You probably have a computer for school, but if you're thinking of loading it up with software like Microsoft Office, don't. If you only need to write papers, Google Docs and LibreOffice are probably fine, and they're both free. If you're doing spreadsheets and presentations, you might actually have to buy Office, but you can buy it from Microsoft with a student discount. Or even better, see if you can find it at your student union for even cheaper. You can also get Windows 7 for really cheap, so if you haven't upgraded yet, wait till you get to campus and grab it for 30 bucks. 3. Find a note-taking method that works for you. There's nothing wrong with pen and paper. In fact, it's still one of our favorite note-taking methods at Lifehacker. But if digital notes are more your style, try using a tool like Evernote, SimpleNote, or even Google Docs, which is great if you want to collaborate on your notes with your classmates. You can access any of these services from any computer as long as you have the internet. You can even merge them together into a hybrid by taking notes on paper, snapping a pic of it using Evernote on your phone, and letting Evernote transcribe that into an editable, searchable text database. Four, schedule your time. You may not be working in a real office just yet, but a good calendar can actually take a lot of stress away from college life. Finding that perfect balance between Glee Club practice at 7.30 and the kegger at 9.30. Google Calendar is an awesome solution, and best of all, you can seamlessly sync GCal to almost any phone, including iPhone and Android. That should get you started, but we've featured a ton of more tips on Lifehacker, so hit the link on your screen to find out more. He's peppy. See? This week on Lifehacker, Whitson prepared us for the zombie apocalypse. He ran down some of the more practical aspects of surviving among the undead hordes, from knowing how to tie knots and finding your direction without a compass, to starting a fire with nothing and foraging for food and water. Of course, preparation is the key to success, so the number one tip is to put together a survival kit using our 72-hour disaster kit as a baseline. Next up, we highlighted Lifehacker Reader's top personal finance picks. The five favorites were You Need a Budget, Quicken, Microsoft Money, Mint, and the simple platform agnostic spreadsheet. But readers voted the cross-platform money app You Need a Budget, also known as YNAB, as the best. Check out the features of each and decide which works best for you. We've continued our love for lock picks and discovered a cool way to make a DIY lock pick set using a windshield wiper. You'll need a wiper blade, a small propane torch, a rotary tool, and two pliers. Finally, Jason Chen talked to a cadre of experts to teach us how to properly throw a punch. It may seem like a no-brainer to anyone who's seen countless action movies, but there's actually a lot of important details to keep in mind to make sure that one, you don't hurt yourself, and two, that you throw an effective punch. You definitely shouldn't use this information to go out and start fights, but it could come in handy in the unfortunate event that you need to defend yourself, like in close quarters zombie encounters. Delicious popcorn! It's time for the downloads of the day, let's see what we've got. First up, we've got G Music for Windows, which will allow your keyboard's media keys to control Google Music. It also keeps things out of the way if you don't like keeping a dedicated browser tab open. For Mac, we've got Lion Tweaks, which fixes many of the common annoyances in Mac OS X Lion and provides a few handy changes as well. Tasks Till Dawn is an app for both Mac and Windows that lets you schedule when apps open and scripts run. You just add what you want, set a time, and it takes care of the rest. Don't like entering your Android's password when you get home? Unlock with Wi-Fi will automatically unlock your device when it connects to your home network. Lastly, for Android, iPhone, and even the web, Complain app helps consumers get what they want. If you have a complaint, you can post it and it will grow if others feel the same. 
This gives your complaint the power of numbers. Computer disasters eventually happen to everyone. But if you get Carbonite Online Backup before your disaster happens, then you've got no need to worry. With Carbonite, your files will be backed up automatically and safely off-site, so you can easily get them back whenever you want. Plus, you can get anytime, anywhere access to your files from any computer, smartphone, or iPad with a free Carbonite app. Best of all, Carbonite's unlimited backup for your PC or Mac is just $59 a year. But when you use the offer code LIFEHACKER to start your free 15-day trial, you'll get two months free when you decide to buy. All the details are at Carbonite.com, and remember to use the offer code LIFEHACKER. You'll be supporting the show and getting your first two months free with purchase. This week on YouTube, we took a look at DSLR Controller for Android, a super cool application that allows you to remotely control your DSLR once you've connected it to your phone or tablet. You can see live view, take photographs, adjust settings, autofocus, and a whole lot more. We'd previously walked through how to take photos wirelessly with your DSLR and iPhone using a couple of handy tools from Apple's App Store, so if you've got a DSLR and an iOS device, you may want to check out that post instead. That's it for this week. We will see you next time. <laughs>